Hello there, and welcome back to SmackDown Plays Universe Mode. What is up? <laughs> Tell you what's up. My blood pressure after Elimination yeah. Chamber. <laughs> Just, yes. And our ratings as well. Our ratings. Um, oh, definitely. If they, if they didn't leap after that, I don't know what made... <laughs> what Tell you what else is up. Your eyes do not deceive you, Jose. Goldberg on SmackDown. Yes, uh, very recent announcement came out after the end of EC. Goldberg has officially chosen the WWE champion Cody Rhodes as his opponent at WrestleMania. Which throws a spanner in the works considering that we got our number one contender for Shinsuke. the championship at the Elimination Chamber. Shinsuke Nakamura, yeah, this does uh, does put a bit of a question as to what's going to happen. Yep. Oh, there one is a question about what's happening though. Why is Priest attacking Sami Zayn? Yeah, we saw him attack uh, Sami Zayn in the Go Home show before EC, and uh, it looks like he's got something he doesn't like about Sami Zayn. I mean, he's got his eyes set on gold, obviously. Well, (laughs) that could be a possibility. Sami has got that uh, uh, target on his. uh, on his, his waist, yep. As uh, he looks to go one on one against Braun Breaker here. Again, another superstar who's been uh, on the periphery, putting in putting in work, putting in performances. As Zayn, perhaps a little dazed from the assault from Damian Priest, just completely yes, misses. Yeah. A big opportunity for Braun Breaker here to uh, pick up a win over a champion. Both men need a bit of momentum. I think Sammy's had his a bit halted a bit in recent weeks. Yes, well, he's he's gone up against some pretty strong opponents. Went to war with Kevin Owens, it must be said, on the road to Elimination Chamber. Hell of a war. I definitely yep. recommend this, like, three weeks back. So go back and watch it. They were great <laughs> matches. <laughs> so, Zane rolling through. Sammy's... He is good with his reversals, this Sammy Zane. He's got the, uh, got the locker room scouted. A lot of their moves. A student of the game, you might say. Time to play the game. Not that game. <laughs> I can Just dream. The, game in general, the, <laughs> the royal game. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about showboating Sammy Letterman here. Have none of it. Yeah, we've seen seen quite a bit of uh, showboating getting people in trouble recently. Very much the Achilles heel of our locker room showboating. Yes, that's a. Uh... Sammy glitches through the ropes, taking lessons from Shinsuke Nakamura. Brom with it scouted as well. Fighting back now. Nice little back and forth so far. Huge little package. Yeah, Powerball. package back rock there. Yeah, kind of modified ting. <laughs> Brom <laughs> looks to demonstrate his power. Sammy with the reversal yet again. Another reversal. Up to a four count now. You can't count Sammy out. Let's not forget he had a. Uh, he won his. Well, this ref off. can. He can count to ten. Oh, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he won his title off of Randy Orton, which is no defeat. The uh, the giant slayer himself, Randy Orton. Obviously caught Randy on a bad day. <laughs> yeah. We've all had it. We've all had a, a bad day. <laughs> a brief spell with the Intercontinental Championship before Sammy is having it. Uh, having it locked down. Yes. There. Looking to claw at Braun Breaker's face here. Yeah. Braun Breaker's still relatively new to the locker room. Yeah, one of the newer talents. Still looking to make a name for himself. Um, he uh, actually debuted against uh, Randy Orton, speaking of the legend. He did. Savage of manhandling Breaker up here. Alongside the man we saw earlier, Damien Priest. So you got to wonder is there a bit of an alliance there? Who knows? Or is there. Uh, Priest just out for himself. I mean, we did see him attack Sami Zayn in the go home. So, show yep. so. Couple of attacks here. Sami looks the bridge with the suplex. Beautiful German into a pin. Not enough to put Bron away yet. You gotta think stepping up to the IC champion, potentially getting a win over the IC champion on route to WrestleMania is one hell of a way to make, make a name for yourself. Well, you've you've got to work on the road to WrestleMania. You can't miss your opportunity for your Mania match. Could be in it to win it. Mania moments. They only come uh, once in a lifetime sometimes. Yep. Story of my life. (laughs) (laughs) 
but once in a lifetime. <laughs> it was a magic oh. day. I think it was a Tuesday. <laughs> Sammy Zayn with the haluba kick there. Straight to breaker. Away. There Pretty it is. The assist from Damien Priest was it enough? And Sami Zayn with the fighting spirit that will to succeed. Perhaps to uh, just retaliate to Damien Priest, like we well, can try and put me down, but I'll keep getting back up. Yep. We are still uh, here. <laughs> questions to be answered about this: What is Damien Priest after? I mean, you would think it would be the IC title, but he hasn't made any comment on these yep. attacks. I think his actions speak for himself. He's just looking to get the boot down on people. That is true. As uh, we see the now former WWE Tag Champions going up against a, uh, a mix of a team. Yeah, a hodgepodge team. Perhaps they're a bit of collusion yeah. thinking, let's ditch our tag partners and team up. Yeah, Imperium looking rather light. A few chilly navels there. Yeah. <laughs> Chili navels. Chili navels. <laughs> I'm going to say they're looking at a, a bit navel. cold around the waist. <laughs> Chili navel. Chili navels. <laughs> looking a bit despondent as well there. A bit maybe angry or. No, that's upset. just their natural. That's oh, this Imperium. That's just their natural up. disposition. They come out, they're just generally angry with the world. Their stony facade. <laughs> yeah. Vinci still not got the memo about the uh, <laughs> about the wardrobe. Yeah, oh, maybe seen you'll have a it lot sorted. From, seen a lot from Vinci recently. Um, in yeah, singles looked, action. He to step out on his own. Had yeah, pretty decent success with it as well. Must be said. I mean, could that be the reason he wasn't maybe focused on the tag match? Although it was Ludwig Kaiser that did get the pin. Or took the pin. Took the pin rather, yeah. And because of that pinfall loss, really, that they stand there a bit lighter than usual. Yeah, and it was a hell of a loss to take as well against uh, your dad's mates from the pub, <laughs> Mike, Mike and Paul. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as the current tag champions are the Miz and Logan Paul, team team prime time. Surprising everyone. <laughs> yeah. They clearly just no one saw that one coming. met up backstage and figured, let's have a championship match. But Imperium took him for granted, and here they stand. Ohio. Yep. The uh, Dawkins uh, coming to the ring. So, so, hey, speaking of standings, Dawkins is an impressive uh, competitor in his own right. Actually has a pinfall victory over our current world champion, Cody Rhodes. Yep, and again, no stranger to facing Imperium. One of the very few men on the roster who, to, who can say that he's beaten them. Yes, yeah, the only other tag team to beat them for the titles was the Street Profits. Yep. Um, not, in, not in full swing tonight, though, as we see Angelo Dawkins teaming up with another main set of tag division, Carl Anderson. All season long we've seen him try to break out on his own, Carl Anderson. Perhaps he's looking to strike up an alliance with someone else from the tag division. Yeah, change things up. Sometimes a change of scene can do you, can do you good. Wow, we, these two teams have fought against each other. They should know each other quite well. All Perhaps. tag teams should know each other very well, really. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. They've mainly only just fought against themselves and then Imperium just <laughs> stood at the top of the table. Just get back down! <laughs> yeah, no scraps And then your dad's you. mates, as the Kaiser looks for an immediate tag. And Giovanni Vinci having none of it. Now, what do you make of that one? Clearly, it's his night off. Yeah, I mean, he could, he, you know, he could have digestive distress, which you do not want in white tights. <laughs> just stood at ringside, just like, oh yeah, I've shat myself. Yeah, yeah. I've got five <laughs> minutes before this seeps through the tights. I better run. <laughs> I don't want to upset the translucent children. <laughs> Poor translucent children. Poor TLCs. <laughs> Dawkins in now looking to get the beating on Ludwig Kaiser as this has very much become a two-on-one handicap match. Yeah. Now, I know you, you said that was just their uh, their stony facade, their emotional range of uh, rock on their walk-in, <laughs> but I still think they were looking quite despondent and this seems to play into that. 
Well, wouldn't you be feeling despondent if you'd have just lost your rather, Titles. yeah, your rather lengthy title reign to the makeshift team of your dad's mates from the pub? Yeah, but would you would you leave your partner? Like, is is Giovanni Vinci angry at Ludwig for costing them the titles? Perhaps he blames him. Well, these are just the high standards that Imperium set themselves. You know, if we've seen it before with Ilya Dragunov, any slight chink in the armor, slight weakness is just eradicated, snuffed out. Yeah, feel the burn, burn the feeling. Yeah. I mean, Gunter has, has not been around since he took his loss to Randy Orton. He's left Imperium to fend for themselves once again. And clearly, yeah. this is one time too many when they cannot put their differences aside anymore. Yeah, they've gone from being the, well, the, yeah, the best tag team on the in the division, holding those belts for the majority of the season to, uh, well, we don't know what to call them now. No. <laughs> Ludwig Kaiser. Imp Left on his own. <laughs> Just imp. Imp Chili Naval. <laughs> Chili Naval. Team Chili Naval. Shavel. Shavel for sure. There's uh, also Dawkins now teeing off and look the Kaiser here. Powerhouse Angelo oh. Dawkins. These two no stranger to each other in the ring. Definitely. Uh, both parts of that uh, War Games match. Kaiser stand on series. the outside. Dawkins with the break of the count, though. Not happy to take a, a count out victory. Yeah, looking to uh, punish Kaiser here. Is he... Kaiser fighting back. Now, the numbers game is going to get to Kaiser eventually. You've got to think. He's a strong man, but he's fighting two big men in this match. Yep, the power could very well overwhelm him. The numbers game could overwhelm him the odds are not in Kaiser's favour no and Dawkins doesn't look very interested in putting it in the ring anytime soon <laughs> giggity <laughs> yeah I should think before I talk sometimes <laughs> well Tiffany Stratton will be happy him. well she'll be happy <laughs> <laughs> looked like Ludwig Kaiser was looking for a pin then and realised Carl Anderson was the wrong bald bloke <laughs> Yep. Just don't so, confuse uh, your M and M's. So Dawkins has a tag. So First time we've seen Carl Anderson all match, I think. Yeah, Dawkins been very, very Looking aggressive. Hog the limelight. Clearly, thinks with a pimple victory over the WWE champion, he can just put in all the work. Yeah, it's Carl Anderson now. Looks to finish it off. Get a one. So, oh, Carl Anderson gets all the glory. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's just one move, job done, one, two, three. Cheers, Swoops Carl. In at the last minute. And there it is, um, Theon Anderson spine buster. Two, and... Oh, Ludwig Kaiser is still fighting on. We have seen this from Kaiser. Being able to fight through so much punishment and just keep going. Oh. But a handicap match is a different dynamic, Kaiser. And there it is. One big I mean, move, too many. Nazo Dawkins, Carl Anderson pick up the win over a, a game, Ludwig Kaiser. But the, the numbers game and possible yep. confusion with Giovanni Vinci, too much. Doesn't matter how good you are, a two on one is still a two on one. Very true. Very true. And that's got to feel good for Dawkins and Carl Anderson, who've had the tag division be held down for so long by Imperium. Yeah, a modicum of revenge there for the two. It's the tag Very revision, revenge. tag division revenge tour. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> As now we are going to see our our former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Bianca Belair. Yep. Taking on a, uh, another member of the locker room. Do drop. Now, obviously, Ooh, if you haven't seen. Showing. If you haven't seen uh, Elimination Chamber, that was spoilers there. Bianca was <laughs> eliminated. Um, yeah. And eliminated by none other than our new women's champion, Rhea Ripley. From Knoxville, Tennessee, I mean, Ripley saw her opportunity inside that chamber. 
she went full Terminator inside that chamber, <laughs> eliminating three other competitors to take that, including Bianca Belair. <laughs> well, first up, Bianca Belair, she went straight yeah. after her. Just she made a beeline for the current champion. Rhea was first in and last out. <laughs> She picked up a submission victory as well, but Bianca, her navel's not chilly. No, she still has that wonderful Liberty title, which she has held all year um, without fault. <laughs> she brought it over from Since Raw. coming over to SmackDown. Has yet to drop that title. Clearly pulling double duty was a little bit too much for her. Uh, she perhaps was... favoured one title over another. Well, match after match is eventually going to wear you down. We said it at Elimination Chamber. There's only so much you can compete before you start to tire. True that. So, representing weapons of drop mass made it, uh, she made an impact at the Elimination Doom Chamber, but drop. sadly wasn't wasn't enough to get the job done. No, eliminated, but looking to get back on back on form. Get some momentum on route to Mania. Could she find a way yeah. onto the card? Who knows? Oh, well, win over the Liberty Champion here could certainly put her in contention. The Liberty Championship obviously coming with a stipulation. Yep. That being said, these are different times on route to Mania. And we do already have a number one contender on the periphery. As Alpha Fire picked up her victory in the go-home show. Yeah. So, uh, yet to see Alba Fire since her victory. I guess we've only had Elimination Chamber since then, so makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore me, talking in circles. <laughs> Do you want anyone else to be part of that conversation there, Hose? <laughs> no, no, it's just me. <laughs> so what do you think of this? Oh, I think it's all right. <laughs> just, yeah. so, Ring okay. awareness ref as... Bianca Belair just, yep, checks that the ropes are, are still working. Yeah, these are definitely regulation ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they're up to scratch. Now, Bianca Belair, I think she needs to get back into winning ways here tonight. Possibly looking for a, a nice victory to start. Uh, well, heading into Mania, you don't want to start that on a losing streak. Absolutely not. She was unceremoniously eliminated from the chamber. We've seen her in singles competition. She is a different animal. Yes, very much so. And the power there on display. Big running Lifting. power slam. Lifting Juju up as if she was a bottle of water. <laughs> I, I literally just looked at the table, the announce table, and saw water. <laughs> <laughs> this match is brought to you room, by Evian. <laughs> <laughs> Huge gut buster to do drop there. Bianca Belair looking strong here. As I speak it into existence. <laughs> <laughs> do drop just getting the momentum again. Looking potentially to get her up for the electric chair drop. Straight onto her face. Struggling to get her up there, it seemed. Possibly still feeling the effects of that elimination chamber. I imagine both these women are. Oh, Bianca more so than any. With, uh, mm. I mean, her navel may be warm, but one of her shoulders is a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> chilly navel, <laughs> chilly shoulders. Chilly everything. Chilly everything. She does some squats to warm up. We must do squats. We warm ourselves up with some squats, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why she's German. <laughs> I'm just letting you run with it. <laughs> so, Look, it's sometimes hard to now. speak German and not sound camp. <laughs> <laughs> just camp do German is just now. the funniest thing ever. Oh, it's the best best type of German. <laughs> yeah. It's just off oh, voice went handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> We've reached that Got point that in the time. evening. It's that time yeah. where the sugar's kicking in. No more German sweets for you. No. I want a German Huge dewdrop. Huge power bomb. Way. Huge power bomb by dewdrop there. And uh, atomic leg drop. That's got to be painful for Bel Air. She rolls out and just 
headbutts are almost a Glasgow kiss of her own there. Uh, do drop Jay having none of it. Showboating again. Showboating's gonna cost you eventually. Ooh, dropped on the apron. Do drop's gonna kill you. Do drop really we've only seen her in one other singles competition that was against Natalia but she's proven that that wasn't a fluke she's really controlling the latter half of this match now very much so making her presence felt you gotta think making her way downtown <laughs> <laughs> making my way doing tune feeling Scottish get me some haggis <laughs> deep fry my Mars bar diddly diddly <laughs> Add that one to the uh, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna need to rewrite the lyrics to Fresh Prince of Bel Air for WrestleMania, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are. As, uh, she's Bel -Air do drop. Do drop here. Not enough. Kicking out. Quite she's a, a wrecking machine. Quite a battle these two women are having here. Clubianca still got enough in the tank after Elimination Chamber, not disheartened from losing one of her belts. Well, she's got she's got something to prove. She's got to prove that she's still someone to be uh, to reckoned with. And, and Dewdrop's just, just trying to make a name for herself on SmackDown. I think Belair proves that on an eye on weekly basis that she can hold it down in the women's division as she just whips Dewdrop with the hair. Yeah, perhaps the uh, just got a bit unlucky in the East, in the Elimination Chamber. I mean, Bria Ripley had a vendetta. <laughs> yeah, she wanted your clothes, your clothes, your boots, and your women's title. <laughs> it's a do drop. Get her up for the big power slam there. That way, it rocked in the middle of the ring. This could be it. Dead to rights. This could be it. No. Still the wherewithal from the champion. Belair refusing to say die. She's she's lost one match. She's not going to lose another. Yeah, this will be it now. She's had her one loss. You're just swatting yeah. away the champion, targeting the hand, stomping on that hand. Could argue that it's the wrong body part to be targeting, but the power of Belair with the gorilla press on Dewdrop. That is no mean feat. That is incredible. It's just dropping her face first. Going for the cover. Kick out at one though from Dewdrop. Neither of these women having any of it. No. A solid war. Both women obviously coming up short at Elimination Chamber and this is their way of saying uh uh <laughs> we're not to be swept this one side. Yep. Both women with something to prove here. Yep. Dewdrop Spear to the outside. Out make a name for herself on Smackdown what better way to do that than stepping up to the Liberty Champion I mean, the calibre of champion that Bel Air is as well yeah let's not forget that she was a women's champion not long ago yep just a couple of nights ago yep still a Liberty Champion <laughs> she goes for it's a, still uh... your Liberty Champion she's the people's champion if you smell. She's everyone's champion. <laughs> she stands for liberty. For freedom. Freedom. That's why Dewdrop wants it, because that's what the Liberty title represents. Scottish yep. independence. <laughs> that's taking it weird. <laughs> right? But yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> She's going to get that belt and have a referendum. <laughs> and a count of eight here now. Belair with a high-risk manoeuvre, and this is the length she has to go through. Standing Moonsault, Dewdrop has it scouted. Dewdrop is really making a good showing here against the Liberty Champ. The title is not on the line here, ladies and gentlemen, oh. as she rolls through the Canadian Destroyer. Yeah, we should remember that the title is not on the line, but Dewdrop maybe didn't get the memo? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but considering what the belt represents, the belt may as well be on the line. Big drop there from Dewdrop. Yeah. These two putting on an absolute clinic here tonight. As uh, Belair looks to take it back into the ring. 
The ref up to a count of seven. This ref can count to ten, so they do have to be careful. As this, this could go either way right now. Genuinely can't call this match. It's going to be a belter. Neither the woman looking to uh, give an inch. Belair just with the one arm carry. Marching Again. around the ring. That is impressive strength from Belair. At this late stage in the match. To still be that powerful. Is she looking for the 450? Yes she is. Lands it and connects it. on Dewdrop. This could be it. And it is. It's enough to put away Dewdrop. A game Hats performance there from women. Dewdrop. And, uh... Oh, there, speak of our... Oh, from out of nowhere! <laughs> Alba Fire! With an attack on the champ. Talk about kicking her while she's down. Just been through an absolute war with Dewdrop. Yeah. Sees her opportunity. To, uh... Get a bit of damage in on the champion. Yeah. Well, an interesting now. one. Speaking of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Making his SmackDown debut. Goldberg. Goldberg. Going up against the number one contender. I suppose they both are now. Yep. Shinsuke. So oh. Shinsuke not with a show of respect. Perhaps annoyed that Goldberg's muscling in on his opportunity. Yeah. Shinsuke thought he had the one-on-one -on -one singles match at Mania with Cody. Um, I mean, he did until... Yeah, almost... that lasted about an hour until <laughs> Goldberg said, you know what, no. That's an interesting choice by Goldberg. Obviously, Roman Reigns champion currently on Raw. Perhaps he thought he couldn't get it done against the Tribal Chief. And decided well, we saw, to... him, saw him try to do it at the Royal Rumble, came up short. Wasn't even in a match at the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. So, Shinsuke glitches as challenge the power of the Matrix. <laughs> he may have thought that a triple threat maybe gives him more of an advantage, but not when you're in there with the glitch himself. <laughs> Every fucking match. <laughs> it's just coded different. <laughs> Shinsuke off the top, elbow to the back of Goldberg. Shinsuke looks to be uh, really pissed off. Taking yeah. to Goldberg here. Big knee to the side of the head. That disrespect at the beginning, perhaps getting in Goldberg's head. I mean, Just wearing him down, locking on a submission. Akamura knows what he's doing. He's fought tooth and nail to get here, and he feels like he's finding himself in yet another triple threat. Yeah. But the dynamic dwarf. is completely different. He hasn't had the best of luck in triple threats throughout the season. Nor in singles action, really, but this could have been his time to shine, and he's having the spotlight taken from him, from Goldberg, but what else is new? Yeah. <laughs> Goldberg now demonstrating that power that... Shinsuke straight up there like a whippet. Yeah. You can't lie down. Goldberg will smell blood in the water and move in for the kill. Big sidewalk slam there from Nakamura. Putting on an impressive display is Nakamura. So I'd say this is a number one contenders match, but it very much is a number one contenders match. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both men here, number one contenders for Cody Rhodes uh, title. And if you're Cody, you're watching this with a, uh, well, you're glued to the screen, aren't you? You don't want to miss a second of this. Yeah, got to keep an eye on the competition about what you're up against at WrestleMania. Yeah, and uh, Cody at a severe disadvantage. Obviously, doesn't need to be involved in the pinfall at all at Mania. Nakamura no, dropping the knee. Giant knee to the outside. Fired up now. It's exciting to watch his Nakamura. And he's really taking it to Goldberg here. Very much a renewed fighting spirit as Nakamura. Yeah. Angry that Goldberg's muscling him in. Stunned him on the outside. Is he even thinking about just taking a count out victory? Nope. Breaking up to do this honorably. Oh, he might just be breaking up to do more punishment, but nope. Sending Goldberg back in. We're going to go to the and top as he's thinking about another elbow, but Goldberg will get scouted. Went to the well one too many times. Looking for a big Goldberg power now. bomb. 
looking to uh, exert that, that power. Another common elbow tie up as Nakamura with those strong strikes. Because kick to the back of the head. Bella Redwood. I mean, he is in there with a Redwood in Goldberg. <laughs> Oh, as Nakamura uh, thinks about it, he's thinking oh, about it. Could it be? Ref might be in the room. Running. Kinshasa to the side of the head. Is that enough to put Goldberg away? Goldberg Not quite enough. Out. Lots of strong strikes on a Kinshasa. Shinsuke just needs that little bit more extra in. Power bomb. Michinoku driver. That is That's enough. It. Shinsuke. Welcome to SmackDown. Goldberg. Welcome to SmackDown, William Goldberg. Yep. Cody, take notice. You've got to face this man at WrestleMania. Yep. And Goldberg too. And Goldberg too. But <laughs> Shinsuke looking good Shinsuke as we head towards Nakamura. Mania. Momentum well and truly on his side. A very good match and a. Great week altogether. A very good week all round, as uh, many things are starting to make themselves apparent now on the road to WrestleMania. Three Lots of weeks questions to, go. to be answered, though. Yeah, very much look forward to finding out the answers on next episode, so we'll catch you then. Laters.